The medlar, Mespolus germanica, is a member of the hawthorn family. It's not native to Britain, however it's been cultivated here since Roman times, when it's important fruit, as it was during the medieval era. However, it was supplanted by crops that are easier to eat, fruits such as the apples, pears, plums, and so on. So it really fell into obscurity. It's most commonly eaten as a cheese or jelly. To allow this to happen, the fruit has to be allowed to undergo a process known as bletting. Bletting is when it becomes overripe. It shouldn't be used until it is so soft that it can be scooped out using a spoon. This is a trug full of, of bletted medlars. They've been kept in a dry, warm room for several weeks and checked until they're all soft enough for the process to start. They should be left perhaps for longer than you might think. In this case, several were still green and had to be thrown away. Also, a number were too small or too hard to be worthwhile processing. Medlar fruit are easily identified. It would be hard to confuse them with anything else that might be poisonous. They have a very distinctive appearance, especially where the flower used to be and where the, the fruit itself formed behind. Various authors, such as William Shakespeare and Geoffrey Chaucer, have uh, made use of their appearance in their works. To make the medlar cheese, scoop out the soft contents using a spoon. You'll find there are about five seeds in each. Pass this through a sieve and then add it to a pan. Add an equal weight of sugar and then bring it to the boil. Once all the sugar is dissolved, then keep gently stirring and reduce the heat. It should then be left on the stove until enough water has evaporated, leaving it in a jelly-like state. So if you run the stirrer through the middle, then you leave a line. You then take this and place it in a, a greased container, allow it to cool. It has a high pectin content and should now be ready to cut and eat as medlar cheese. The flavour is unique and has been compared with apple sauce with a hint of cinnamon. It can be eaten with wine and cheese as an accompaniment.